Oh, hi there, big boys, and welcome to my review of The Long Reach. This is pretty much a very similar game to the game I reviewed recently called The Fall. It's even got a relatively similar name. I mean, not really, but kind of. It's got a D at the start, anyway. But yeah, it's a it's an action. Well, not really an action, but an adventure game mixed with a sort of point and click game. But you play it like an adventure game. And it's a side scroller as well, and you go around these maps collecting up stuff, sometimes having to run away from stuff and, and solving puzzles to progress through the story. The story of which is not too long, about two to three hours long, I would say, which isn't particularly long, but then again, for game, you know, a game like this is kind of what you expect, and it was longer than The Fall. I'm going to compare this game a lot to The Fall, because I enjoyed it a lot more than that game, to be honest. The story is just a lot more interesting, and it's just it made I mean it, it wasn't it made, it wasn't incredible it wasn't Citizen Kane I've not seen Citizen Kane but it's not at that level but you know it's certainly tolerable for a video game story and I think that for a sort of game like this it matters a lot more the story it's not because the gameplay isn't bad but the story and the writing is what made me enjoy the game a lot because I really thought that every character was just really weird and like fun to listen to there was just some a lot of moments that made me actually laugh and yeah it was pretty good in that way I enjoyed it. And uh, what else is there to say? Uh, it's a, it's got pretty 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 graphics. To be fair, not I mean it's pixel art and it's not particularly amazing, but it certainly does the job and it looks decent enough. And there was a few moments which looked pretty good and it works well with the art style. And it does a few sort of screen effects and stuff at certain points. It work quite well and stuff like that. Some of the puzzles are really annoying and aggravating. I'm not gonna lie though. A few of them took me ages to figure out and I felt like didn't really make much sense. Some of the interactions are also felt a bit weird, like sometimes you have to interact with something and then interact with it again to then make it do what you actually want to do. It's a bit odd, but you know, that's fine. And there are two times you have to escape from a monster or a man which you don't want to stay away from, and they would never really quite worked for me. They were always a bit off, and yeah, not great, but you know, they just well, they, the game just doesn't seem suited for it. It's, it's always a bit janky. And like getting, get, if you go inside a door, they sort of have to wait a few seconds, then he'll appear, and it just looks a bit weird. And you can sort of hide, but I don't know, it just doesn't work. I just don't like it. And there's not enough save points to go with that. It, me it means there was a certain point in the game uh, early on where I had I ran into this monster, and every time I had to solve a puzzle first, then escape from the monster, and it just got annoying. And especially since, as I say, running away from the monster is kind of annoying because he can run faster than you, which is not normally how these games should work, in my opinion. But, um, yeah. Anyway, what else can I say? I don't know, not really much. It's a pretty decent game. I enjoyed it, and it ran perfectly on the Switch, and it was a, it was a pretty interesting game. It got lots of twists and turns in the story. Definitely a game to watch if you're into these sort of games, but, again, it's not the easiest of games. It's kind of got a bit of weird logic, but it's still quite enjoyable, and it's not too hard. It's, it's, it's you know, it's, 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 it's not ridiculously absurd like most of these games are. So yeah, that was The Long Reach. Thanks for watching, big boys. It's an important time. And bye.